And uh, I'm gonna just speak some, some words at you guys at varying speeds and frequencies, so. Woo! Wow, that noise. So enjoy. It's called weakness. 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 Weakness is no more than a two-syllable word used to describe one's innermost fears and lack of strength. Now let's break this thing down. Strength. What is strength? Is strength the ability to lift up heavy objects or is strength the ability to stand up against evil and object? Now what about inner strength? You know, the strength to reach deep down inside to find the motivation not to hide. To find the motivation to do the things you need to do to better you. Ridding yourself from the things holding you back from becoming a better you. Great. Now, what about innermost fears? You know the fears that have been buried deep, 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 deep down inside for countless years? Now, my fears may be different from your fears, but nevertheless, they are our fears. Now, these are the fears that can bring even the fiercest of warriors down to tears. These are the things we've been ducking and dodging for who knows how long, but because of them, we cannot stand up and be strong. Simply put, We've been accustomed to them for so long. Not hiding feels oh so long. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of this trend. In fact, I think it's high time we take a stand and it ends. Now, who's with me? Who's ready to put an end to these fears? Who's ready to put an end to these tears? Who's ready to stand firm and carry on? Who's ready to put an end to this weakness and finally move on and be strong? Thank you. Broken hearted but not broken. Busted but in no way am I a buster. Feeling helpless but I know I'm not alone and there's a ch 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 chill that won't leave these aching bones. I may be weak but I'm not a coward. And I've searched for joy in the ground, well, it's been scoured. And I've lived a uh, a horrid life, and my first memory was that of my mother being taken away by a dull kitchen knife. And I want to say that that was the beginning and the end of my strife, but sadly, no. That was just the beginning of my sorrow and golf life. And as a young man, depression got the better of me more often than not. There were days when I would have gladly welcomed a straight gun shot. Sadness and depression were so prevalent in my life I felt like I had no other option than to pick up my own knife. I felt like there was no other option than to take my own life. And I knew it wasn't right, but I couldn't see the light. You know the light that those optimistic people talk about? The light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah. Well, for me, life was more like a funnel. All of the dark and deep root of pain being poured into the top of a heavy stream that never seemed to slow down, let alone stop. <laughs> So much sadness, so much hate, so much sadness and depression. I felt like a balloon being blown up, blown up, blown up, until I finally went. And it was time. I didn't care if it was right. I just wanted to end the pain. All I wanted was to leave behind a blood-soaked stain. Something to be remembered by, something more than a former twinkle in a never-present father's eye. <sighs> Sad to say, but I wanted nothing more than to give up and finally lay down and die. I'd had enough, and I was done with this sad excuse for a life. I was so sick and so tired of all of the strife. I finally gave up and I tried to end my own life. That's right. I tried to end my own life. I decided to take the coward's way out. There just wasn't any other logical route. It was time for me to finally just check out. And I tried a noose and I, I tried a knife and I tried them all, but I couldn't seem to get it right. And let's be clear. These were cries for help. These were honest. These were honest attempts to end myself. I had reached rock bottom. I was in a perpetual pit of despair. I did not care. I couldn't explain it. All of the painful attempts, but no success. Why? Why wouldn't God just let me rest? I had no hope. I ate my pride. I wasn't ashamed. I'm a grown man, and I cried. 
And that's when it hit me. This isn't my life to end. And it's not my life to live, but sure enough, it's my life to give. And I'll admit, the whole idea of giving my life to God was a little odd. But I just I couldn't do it anymore. Ending my life was no longer an option. I can't go back to that life. There's nothing there for me. Only sadness, depression, and a constant stream of strife. So with no other option and nowhere to go, I bowed my head and I cried. And I started to pray and I laid it all out on the line. And at first, I was fine. But then I let it all go. I opened up the doors to my heart and I let my emotions flow. I let, all, I let out all of the emotions I'd been bottling up for countless years. I let out all of the cheers and all of the tears and all of the angry sneers. And I finally felt most emotions I haven't felt in years. But most importantly, I finally felt hope. I can finally see the light. And in an instant, I knew that this is right. For the first time, my eyes were open and I could finally see. And as I prayed, it was as if I was hovering over the old me. And I could see that the 